pay back. Yeah, Matt. For the amount of money we're spending in Singapore, darling, you, you might have to get a job in Singapore. Maybe. Yeah, might have to keep a lookout if there's any work going. You may do. We've, we've done a river cruise here before. Yeah. We, we did a river cruise, went out, out into the bay and did we? into the marina, yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, we've done so many cruises I can't remember. I know we've done, done a few in Hong Kong too. It's not too bad. Like, it's one thing I, I would recommend to do. Yeah, yeah, if, definitely. If now, it is, seems to be quite busy at the moment, but I remember when we went, it was quite, pretty quiet, but that's, yeah. that's how it goes, isn't it? But it's a nice way to, to see a little bit of the scenery, then yeah. getting around walking, so... It is, um, it is uh, I'm just looking there, $28 uh, per adult and about $18 a child. Yes. Just to let you know. But but it is, yeah, it, it is quite nice, definitely. And yeah, they call them a, um, a bum boat you go out in. And, um, and yeah. since we've been here, there's been like three or four on the water and they've just been flat out. Yeah. So it's pretty popular. So, but no, definitely, that's definitely worth doing down at um, Park Key. Do you think, do you think it's as busy pre-COVID? No. I think there was more restaurants pre-COVID and... I do, I do. I think it might have a lot more. I think they have. It, and the complex itself, to me, looks like it has suffered a bit. So they might be still recovering a little bit. The Fullerton was a hospital, I believe, in World War II when the English was here and the Japanese basically surrounded from the north. But yeah, this was used as a hospital in World War II, but it is a majestic um, hotel. Very similar to Raffles Hotel in Singapore. So what's the go with the Fullerton, Beck? Every time I've come to Singapore, I've admired this beautiful Fullerton. And I said to Maddie that on our 50th wedding anniversary, he has to take me there. They only, are very special. Only one night, Beck. Yeah, Maddie. Would you like to go to the Malayan Council for dinner? I'd love to, Maddie. Well, we we probably should, but it's not really good value, Beck. Oh. If, if you can see over there, there's 7-Eleven. Now that's good value. Oh. See, Beck? <gasps> yes, Matty. You, you get a toasted sandwich for about three bucks. Oh, I bet you it's dearer than that. Good value, 7-Eleven. So I've got very bright lights um, shining at you and there's all this stuff behind for sale. They actually put the lights on to blind you so you don't see the price, Beck, because okay. it's tourist price. And it looks like... Not great value. Coconut. Coconut for $7 Singapore. Yeah, Matty? We, we just saw the Hawker Centre. Uh, yeah. A bit, bit touristy, though. It was very busy in there. And, and quite tourist. I, I found a good deal back. Oh, all right. You follow me. <laughs> Two hot dogs, Beck, and an ice lemon tea for nine bucks. Now that's a good deal, Beck. Okay, mate. All the different flavours of ice cream. And he splits them up and puts them between two wafers. For a dollar fifty. And heaps of different flavors of ice cream as well. Okay, Maddie, what do you got there? This is a local traditional ice cream seller, which you'll see in the video. We got raspberry ripple on a wafer. How he does it is quite um, 
different compared to what we would do in Australia and mostly overseas. Mm. Good. And I noticed too for the dollar fifty, you get the wafer, and I noticed a lot of them getting them in slices of bread as well. Mm -hmm. Never thought to have ice cream and slices of bread. But yeah, a lot of them were getting sliced bread as well, mm. wrapped up in the ice so, cream. Yeah, instead of a wafer. So they put a, a slice of bread. Hmm. Delish. Another great value tip, Beck. If you see a bike tour, you can hire a bike for about a dollar, on the just like on the road. <laughs> hire a bike and just join join the tour for a dollar. Great value. So Beck, we're at Marina Bay Sands. Yes. Any good? Beautiful shopping centre. Beautiful, high end, beautiful, very busy. High, yeah, high end. I notice a lot of people here, but I really don't see a lot of people buying, shopping. I don't see a lot of people, yes, carrying shopping bags around, no, I no, must say. It's, it's more for tourists, have a look. But yeah, I don't know if many people are actually spending a lot of money. Yeah, um, it is it is a beautiful shopping centre. Well, Very we're, classy. We're, we're definitely not because I, it's not good value for us. <laughs> but it's nice. We like a bargain. Yeah. yeah, but it is a very beautiful shopping centre to walk around. It's all air conditioned. So it's worth a look. Yeah, and the MRT's here as well, which is train. really great. The train. The train. Yeah, so yeah. to go home from here, we walked all the way here. Um, and now we're going to head home on the MRT. Beck, the real question is... Why are the prices dearer than Pratt and Market in Bangkok? <laughs> well, Matty, there's shopping for everyone in the world, Matty. What's, what's the tip today? Hot tip, when you come to the train, and you want to get on the train, go to either end. Don't go in the middle where everyone stands. Fun fact, Beck, you'll notice these trains don't have any drivers. No. No drivers on the train. No. We'll go and find out. So I'm at the front of the train, and no driver, fully automated in Singapore. So we got on at Bayfront and we got on the blue line and we wanted to go to Chinatown and always a good tip is always if you're going to go to Chinatown which way you're travelling look at the end station and that's the one you want to head to so we want to hop onto the blue line heading to Expo because we were heading from Bayfront <laughs> over to Chinatown. Just a tip. Not, 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 not.